Well, welcome to the Bike Racing Without Mercy training vlog. Today is how I learned to ride the rollers. It's still very much not the finished article, as you can see. I have scaffolding and a wall. Well, as a comfort blanket, shall we say. My little comfy. But today I'm going to show you how I've gradually built up to one hour consecutive on the road, as I hope. The most I've ever done without touching the architrave, as you'll see, is half an hour. I'm really enjoying the process, but as you can see, I'm still very much out of my comfort zone. I'll report back in a bit. I'm about three minutes in. I present to you Bambi, and the level of concern is high. The outtakes will show why I'm doing this in the doorway. Half an hour in, feeling a lot more comfortable now. And you have seen that my initial attempt on the riders was not exactly elegant. Definitely needed the architrave. And so I'll keep reporting back here during my one hour attempt to show you my first six rides in total, i.e. the other five rides that preceded this one. So you can see how I gradually built up, and it certainly has been a difficult old process, but an enjoyable one. Now if you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd be super grateful if you would. I can't raise my hand off the handlebar to give you a thumbs up. But this is my third time on the rollers. Still very nervous. First time was only 10 minutes. Second time was 30 minutes. Aiming for another 30 now. Even talking is quite a challenge at the moment. As you can see, I can not look at the camera very easily. But I'm enjoying it, it's a good challenge. It's a nice way to warm up ahead of the training on the Watt bike. I'm starting to feel a bit more confident on them, but it's gonna take a little while. About 180 to 200 watts is kind of what I'm doing. Trying to focus on nice pedaling stroke. Trying to relax the upper body, albeit I feel a lot more tense on the rollers. I'm only about five or six minutes in. We're just starting to be able to look up now to the camera. And even a smile. There we go. So welcome to attempt number four on the rollers. It's the first time I've been able to complete 20 minutes without banging into the door frame. So little victories. Just doing two minutes at 200 watts, two minutes at 240 watts, alternating. Aiming for about half an hour. I can't lift my hand off the bar yet. Well, let's try. Ooh. 
Oh, 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 there we go. Scott Hewish from Command TV. Eat your heart out. Oh dear, no, no, oh dear. Go on, go on. Look up, look up. Ooh. No, ill advised. There we go. There's a fair number of YouTube tutorials as to how to learn to ride the rotors. The big one, of course, is nice circular pedaling stroke, even distribution of power. But also they say, put your hands on the crossbar part of the handlebar. I didn't find that useful myself. I found that the wrists and the triceps soon started to hurt. So throughout, really, I've been focusing, as you can see, much more on my hands in the usual position. Just rotating how far up or down the stem they go to relieve the pressure on the wrists. I'm finding I'm still not relaxed, even though this is my seventh attempt. I'm trying to relax, but it still feels a little bit alien and difficult. And my heart rate is certainly higher than it would be outdoors or on the watt bike. But a very rewarding and enjoyable process. Number five, about 15 minutes in, feeling good, still just tapping out the 180 to 220 watts. Trying to focus on the nice circular pedaling technique and good breathing. Feels good though. So a little breakthrough here. First time I've done half an hour without touching the architrave. Bit wins, average watts about 207. I'll be interested to see how the pedaling technique is in terms of the left right balance. It's been a lot better on the Conargo with the Astiona Duos providing the data since I've been riding on the rollers. I've been near on 50-50, but let's see what it is at the end of this. Well, the level of disappointment is high. I thought with 30 minutes consistent under my belt, the pedaling technique would have been on point, but 49.51 is a tad better um, than it was outdoors. You know, it was kind of 48.52, not quite sure what was going on out there. Clearly a lot of work to do. There's no hiding place on the rollers. You do have to focus on even distribution of power, a nice circular pedaling technique. Um, but I'm enjoying the process here of learning how to ride the rollers. It's a big challenge, um, as you can see. Quick addendum here because morale is a tad higher. Training Peaks confirms, and we'll stick it up on the screen, that the left right balance was 49.5 on the left, 50.5 on the right. Come on, Wahoo Bowl, everyone knows you round up, not down. Number six, experimenting with lower cadence. Feels good. I'm doing these as a warm up ahead of the main training on the watt bike. Really, good old architrave. About 30 seconds to go. And you can see here, I'm in a big ring on the front and about the middle at the back. I found it helpful to find a gear that you can kind of sustain a nice, comfortable cadence. For me, about 90. And zone two, power. I've had a few other little wobbles along the way and I found that looking up and accelerating, go nowhere near the brakes, has been helpful. One hour there. I feel a real sense of achievement from this. I really recommend it. And 46, 
I don't learn new things quickly or easily. But if I can do it, you can do it. Just make sure you're set up to have a little fall over or something into the architrave. I'll report back at the end. Well, let me just show you how I finish. Come down through the gears, go nowhere near the brakes. Spin. And then I just gently, you see why I need both? <laughs> Try to explain what to do and do it. It's two different things. But it feels very intimidating to start. Very rewarding to get a little way into the journey. Still a long way for me to go. But hope you found this useful. 300 pounds for the ride is a lot cheaper than a turbo trainer or a smart bike. And I think, well, I'm hopeful that this kind of um, training session is going to have a lot of crossover to outdoors. Hopefully, if we get some of the climbing events in the summer. Well, after a little bit of research online, I decided to purchase the Elite Aeron Mag Rollers, 300 pounds, and I think amazing value for money. You can see I've had a lot of fun with them so far, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of benefit um, when I'm back outside. Now, these are not smart rollers, i.e. you can't connect them up to Zwift or other training apps, such as if you have a training session and the prescribed power changes, the resistance through the roller will change. But it does have another nice little feature here. You can manually change the resistance. Obviously, before you get onto the rollers, you've got Baby Bear, Mama Bear, and Papa Bear. Now, you can see here that I've been riding on Mama Bear there, I a medium level of resistance. And they do say, actually, when you're starting to ride the rollers, it's better to start off on the easiest, lightest resistance. I didn't personally find that easier. I found it better to have a little bit more resistance to push into um, in order to kind of stay well, stay on the rollers and not fall off, basically. But have a little experiment while you're in the architrave and figure out what's best for you. You can see that there is this little sort of pulley here to connect the front roller to the rear roller. And it's really important that you don't get that under um, the, uh, the sort of the middle bit of plastic here. I did that by accident um, on my first sort of attempt, as it were, and it caused a lot of friction for a period of time. I couldn't figure out what was going wrong. So you have to spend a little bit of time just to make sure you got it set up right. Remember, um, I'm not exactly technically gifted, and so I am more prone to making mistakes like that. It easily adjusts. They give you an Allen key such that you can move this front roller backwards and forwards, and you've got these little sort of holes there. It's very, very easy to adjust such that when you get the bike onto the rollers, your kind of fork is more or less over the middle of the front uh, roller there. But all in all, I've been very, very impressed with them. I'd also say they store away nice and easily. Look here, you can fold them up like this. Let me just, there we go. A nice small profile there. Um, so you can put them away in a cupboard very easily. However, I find it personally easier just to stick them under the bed flat like that. But definitely, 300 pounds well spent, improving the pedaling technique, um, and generally your bike handling skills, I guess is gonna um, cross over much better um, when you're riding outside on your sporty for Grand Fondo, whatever other event it is you wanna do, than maybe investing in a saddle upgrade or something like that. Highly recommended. I present to you, oh sorry. Okay. I present to you Bambi, and the level of concern is high, and there have been a couple of little outtakes here. Oops, as another one comes, right. That's not bad, got a clip in. Come on. Deep breath, look ahead. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Success. <laughs> All right, take two. Whoever you are, 
And whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive and stay healthy.